Welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today is all about the Happy Nietzsche. So, I was tagged by Southern Tea Time of, uh, yeah, Southern Tea Time and she tagged me in why I love my Happy Nietzsche. So, I'm going to be very quick because I'm on the go. I've been, I'm supposed to film this about a week ago, I guess, and I'm just getting around to it. I've been ripping and running. So the questions are, the first question is, what is a happy Nietzsche? Well, a happy Nietzsche, in my opinion, and what I've come to understand is, it is half of a classic. You get nine discs, just like a classic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine discs, like a classic. It's half note pages. Um, it was to be... It's also called the Foba Nietzsche, but the Happy Nietzsche, you can make your own. And I think that's what I most like about it, and I'll get to that question next. Um, so basically, the Happy Nietzsche was inspired from the Hoba Nietzsche, and the Hoba Nietzsche is much smaller, but it does have like maybe the half of pages or what have you, where the pages are a little smaller. So it was inspired by the Hoba Nietzsche, to my understanding. Uh, let's see, what is the next question? Because I really don't know how to answer that question because I'm kind of new to the uh, whole Happy Nietzsche, Foba Nietzsche, so I'm going to kind of skip that one. Um, why do you love your Happy Nietzsche? I love my Happy Nietzsche because I'm able to be creative in it. Um, sometimes I get uninspired, you know, but I'm able to just create whatever I want, a landing page for something, um, just... I can make it the Hobonichi looking kind of way. I can make it whatever I want. And this is my favorite spread in my uh, Happy Nietzsche. My very favorite because I love um, hexagons. And you can just make it look like whatever. So that is why I really like it. I love this one. This is another one of my favorites when I turned them into TVs. So... Yeah, you can just do whatever. You can add to this. You can add sections, which I have yet to do. But you can add sections if you want to do lists. So that is what I like about my Happy Nietzsche. Um, what do you use? The third question is, what do you use your Happy Nietzsche for? Right now, my Happy Nietzsche is only for my social media. I thought it would be a little too big to kind of take. But then I find myself kind of taking my classic sometimes. So right now, it's just for um, social media. And question number four, what did you start, no, excuse me, why did you start your Happy Nietzsche? Well, <laughs> I was drugged down the Happy Nietzsche, Foba Nietzsche hole uh, due to my good planner babe friend, Anika, over at Anika's Creative Plans. She did a video on it. She was showing all the specs and price point and the different things that you could do with it and how you could set it up. And I was like, that looks interesting let me give that a try and I did and I just fell in love with it and again I love the creativity part mostly about that so yeah that was perfect for me and I've just been on it ever since but um micro notes has taken over now so I don't know but I'm still loving my happy Nietzsche as well um number five what advice would you give someone just starting or thinking about starting a happy Nietzsche Hmm, that's kind of tough because I feel as though I'm kind of six months in and I don't really know a whole, whole lot. But my thing is make it your own, you know, definitely get inspiration from other creatives, um, planner babes on other creative channels, but just kind of make it your own. Use it for whatever you want to. Some people are using it for just every day. Find, it's the same with any planner. To me, it's the same with any, um planner or spread that you want to use make it your own make it functional for you if you just want to do coloring in it make it that but don't worry about what you see others use it for use it for what 
works best for you and then you'll love it and I had to learn that not the hard way but that's the way I had to learn in my planning I love watching other people plan in their planners their happy Nietzsche their phobo Nietzsche but I realized that I had to make it work for me I had to like what I see if I don't like what I see I won't use it so I don't know about you but um, just basically like what you see and if you like what you see continue to use it But the, to me the only way that you'll really appreciate the happy Nietzsche The only way that you'll love it is if you make it your own like I said if you just want to do list in here Write list if you want to do daily pages in here, which is Leading into some daily pages if you just want to do your budget in here or monthly do what makes you happy and that's to me why it's called the happy Nietzsche because it makes you happy to use it so use it for whatever like I said now I'm just using it for social media I really at this point don't have any other use for it because I have other planners that I'm using and that I like to use so my advice definitely would be do what makes you happy and it'll definitely be a happy Nietzsche whatever you if you want to color in it color in it just do whatever you think you could do it for if you want to do it to keep assignments in projects whatever just do whatever makes you happy and that you'll want to come look at it every day or as often as needed so I hope you guys enjoy this tag I will tag because I don't think I've seen Anika do this and since she drugged me in I'm gonna tag um, Anika because I know that she has um, a happy Nietzsche slash Foba Nietzsche. Um, some of my other planner babes that I know, I don't think they have it. So I'm tagging Anika and I'm tagging any of you who have a happy Nietzsche. And definitely hit me up on Instagram at Norris Cove if um, once you do your video or however. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, you enjoyed this video today, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload content to my channel. And I hope you'll come back for more and I will see you in my next video. Bye.